Hey, Karen, we're recording. This is Della Rose Deli um, with the issue of the sales receipts and the discrepancies between the um, what she writes on the on the spreadsheet and the deposits in the bank. So I think the way to solve this is that Karen should do the sales receipts again. Karen stopped doing the sales receipt when I asked her to do so. And that was because that's how she was getting the cost of goods sold at a negative. So we're grateful that she stopped doing that. But the sales receipt needs to be done. And so I'm teaching her right now. So I'm going to share the screen with Karen. Hold on. Okay, I don't want to see Zoom. I want to see QuickBooks. Okay, there you go. So this is my my screen, and I'm going to let's go into a sample company. Yeah, the the online sample company. This is the sample company that Intuit creates. So so we're not looking at data from anybody just to protect the confidentiality. And we can do all kinds of things here. All right, so to create a sales receipt, you see this button, Karen, this uh, plus sign? Karen, are you there? I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. yeah. You see this, this plus sign? Yes. Okay, so, so that's, that's the create button, yeah. right? It says create. So if you go down this, you see sales receipt. Yeah, I hear the echo. Maybe maybe you maybe you put me in mute or something so we don't hear the echo. Okay. Okay. So I had you on mute, but then you couldn't hear me. Oh, okay. So sorry. So so when you were create, this is how you were creating the sales receipts, right? Okay, so when you were, what were you putting here on customer? Um, nothing? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, something. Daily sales. Daily sales? Daily sales. Okay, since, since this is a sample company, um, it doesn't exist the daily sales. So we have to add it for this, purposes but so let's say it was daily sales all right so this is a sales receipt for the deposit that you made that day on the bank so you deposit to say cash right what did what do you how do you deposit uh, you walk into the bank right yeah, and you walk with cash, right? Yes. Okay, so it was a cash deposit. So you can deposit into undeposited funds or what you actually do, because you did, you deposit it into the checking account. That's what you did, right? So here, what, what were you writing on this product line daily sales can i shrink your screen so i can get to my screen yeah 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 in fact we can go to why don't we do that we can go to you i can go to your screen yeah, why don't I do that? <laughs> All right, so let's have to. I have to sign in again. Hold on, that's okay. Seven two seven nine two three. All right, so we go inside QuickBooks again. All right. And we're going inside Della Rose Deli. Here we go. All right. 
So we will look at a sales receipt and we will see how you create it. That's even better because you already know this. Okay. So all sales. Let's look at all sales. Okay, so here's daily sales, total of five cents. Who created, this was created, this was not created by you. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, those yeah, were not created by us. What about this one? What about this one? What about this one? Go back into my last entry was eleven twenty six. The last day I put Eleven twenty six. Yes. You did. Did you put you this, did one, the you 3, this one? The three thousand. No. 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 So where is the one that you did? Uh, oh, hold on. My screen's behind you. I'm sorry. Okay. U.S. Distance. I think they, they changed mine. It's not opening. Well, I'm imagining that all the sales receipts were done by you. Right? But I think they were edited because what's this total? Right. They were edited because remember, Karen, that you had the negative cost of goods sold? Yeah. So they had to, they, the only get, way to get rid of that negative was to edit them. Yes, they were edited and, and the team worked really, really hard. Ted worked really hard editing these. He did. What I don't understand is this 0.5 cents deal. That I don't I don't I don't get it. Can you open it? Yeah, let's open it. Okay, so daily sales, daily sales 2000, and that one is check marked for the tax. So the tax will be taking on this. Daily sales non tax, $3. Sales income, meaning the cash daily sales. So $750. Oh, yeah, because this is the breakdown. Oh, I get it. This is the breakdown between the cash deposit and the, and the credit card deposit. And there's a discrepancy of 187. So if we add the cash deposit and we add the, the credit card, we're still $187 different than the daily sales. Edit it. I had to go in and click on sales tax hmm. and change the total to what I had really collected because cost is, cost is, is some days it's right on and some days it's short. Like it's, what are we supposed to click? 9.75% and I think he's collecting like 9.675. So it's like off a tiny bit every day. Right, so, it's so that's where those five cents and the 10 cents are coming from. 
is, is, is this rate is 9.25. Yes, but at this, if you type in the 180, whatever it was, 187.45, mm -hmm. and it overrides this amount, that's what I collected. Right now. Um, so, so the 187.50, you override the 187.45 and it's the five cents. So, so they are on point. No, 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 no. Hit this blue override this amount. The, the blue? Uh -huh. Click on the blue sales tab. Yeah. 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 This tax amount is zero, but it should be something else. Now click on override this amount. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. So the amount was one eighty seven forty five. Under the amount. So you put. 187 45 yeah so there is a so there is a the five cents five cent. and then your reason you have to choose a reason yeah yeah and i hit other, other. and then you put and confirm then you put and then i hit confirm that's what you did for every transaction yes yeah. okay I'm glad that we're recording this. Um, I am going to send this recording to Ted for him to see and the team to see and Lisa to see exactly what is it that you are doing. And uh, I'm not going to hit confirm. I am not because I don't know if that is it's correct only because we're not putting a, a reason what if what if we by by just changing it like 9.247 but when i go to the store and i type in on the register it says it's collecting the 9.25 Right, but it really is collecting 9.247. But the law says that you're supposed to collect the 9.25. I know. So when I go to pay the sales tax, mm -hmm. it, it goes off the, the sales and the gross sales. It doesn't go off the amount of tax I paid. Mm -hmm. I just added up all those. Okay. And paid that amount. I just wonder. You enter, you enter the gross sales and your net sales, and it tells you how much tax you have to pay them. Yeah, but as a tax practitioner, I don't like this overriding the amounts to get a lesser tax rate. It doesn't, it, you know what I'm saying? I, that makes me very nervous. I know. I know. But, but there is no way to. Do it, and the red, the cash register says it's nine point two five percent. I mean, we even went in and tried to reprogram, and it says it's collecting that amount. But somehow it isn't. Maybe maybe on the cash sales it isn't, or the credit card. Because it's the computer, and you go in and you type in nine point two five percent. Right. And that's what the register is programmed at. But then, when you print it out at the end of the day, it's usually off by a couple cents. Okay. Um, I'm glad that we did this Zoom meeting where we told the team 
exactly what you're doing because they were asking me, what is it that she's doing? <laughs> and now we know. <laughs> Do, so I can correctly for them. Um, I have a meeting with them tomorrow okay. at 11 a.m. to talk about you. And I'm going to send them tonight, right now, this recording. And we will receive guidance. Okay? So I don't I, I don't want to say something right now, but from Remember, I'm not only an accountant, I have a law degree and I am a tax practitioner. So I'm wearing the hat of the tax practitioner now. And I'm thinking, I, I don't like this overriding things and to put it less than 9.25 and putting 9.247. I mean, I just don't like it. Yeah, because you can get audited. I just don't like it. So, so it has got to be another way. And so I'm bringing this to the team with my concern, which from the tax perspective and in your question, which is how do you do it? So it matches. Like instead of the sales number up here, they get typed in practice for me or the right way <laughs> up top instead of a number. Right. Can you type in something up there? Well, and then an example off of my sales that I entered off of that uh, Google Doc. Okay, okay. So, then, so a sample on the spreadsheet. Yes. And then today, what I'll do is this week, the sales from the well, last week from 121. Mm -hmm. I'll go in on Google Docs and put all that in, and then I'll also go in on the side and put the cash deposit. Okay. Does that make sense? So maybe that will help? Yeah, but that helps on one end, and I am stuck. I know, but somehow we have to get the two ends to meet together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's all. I <laughs> well, what if, what, if, what if the register has um, an issue that, I know you put 9.25, but maybe you have to put 9.26? Five or something, I don't know, and that will do the 9.25. Okay, I don't know, I'm just asking. So maybe I'll just have him do 9.65. Yeah, but that tiny, tiny percent, maybe add that tiny percent to the register so when it comes out, it comes out at the actual 9.25 that it's supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I, I'm not a technician on cashier register machines, and I've never heard that. But maybe your machine is special. <laughs> just like me. I love you, Karen. I love you. I love you. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all good. And I, I'm record. I'm going to stop the recording so we we stop the the echo. Okay. And Karen says hello to everybody and she loves everyone. Yeah, thank you very much, she says. All right, let me stop this recording now. Let me stop the screen share and let me stop the recording. Actually, I'm going to pause the recording in case we need to record something.